that putting numbers together is called addition. What if you add the same number again and again? Let us take a closer look at the magic of adding the same number over and over again in our topic multiplication. Do you know what multiplication is? Let us understand it with the help of an example. We have five sets of bags with one bag in each set. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Let us add them together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 bags all together. What did we just do? We added the number of pictures. What did you notice while adding the pictures? You saw the same number added over and over again. This is called repeated addition. Let us look at another example. Group A and Group B have two dogs each. That makes it four dogs all together. Two plus two equal four. Two groups of two dogs equal four. Two times two equals four. 2 multiplied by 2 equals 4. In the above example, we saw repeated addition of the same number using the method of multiplication. So, multiplication is repeated addition. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equal 8. 2 multiplied by 4 equals 8. We can say or write it as 2 fours are 8 and in words it is written as 2 fours are 8. 2 times 4 equals 8. X is the symbol of multiplication. Let us see how we build multiplication by looking at a few pictorial examples. Three groups of two buttons each. So we write three twos are six. Two groups of nine toffees each. So two nines are eighteen. Wasn't it fun? Now you try the next two. Very good! One group of three ice creams in it. So, one threes are three. Four groups of two chairs each. So, four twos are eight. Let us learn how to write the multiplication tables of one with the help of pictures. We have one set with one apple in it. So, one ones is one. One set with two apples in it. One twos are two. One set with three apples in it. One threes are three. One set with four apples in it. One fours are four. One set with five apples in it. One fives are five. Similarly, the tables of one will follow right up to one tens are ten. Now, let us learn the multiplication tables of two. Two sets of one star in each. Two one is two. Two sets of two stars in each. Two twos are four. 
two sets of three stars in each. Two threes are six. Two sets of four stars in each. Two fours are eight. Two sets of five stars in each. Two fives are ten. Similarly, the tables of two will follow right up to two tens are twenty. I hope you had fun learning the tables of one and two using the pictorial method. Tables of three and four by using repeated addition. The process of adding the same number several times is called multiplication. You can construct a table for any number using this method. For example, I have 3. 3 written only once. So 3 into 1 is equal to 3. 3 plus 3. 3 is written twice or two times. So 3 into 2 is equal to 6. 3 plus 3 plus 3. 3 is written three times. So 3 into 3 is equal to 9. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. 3 is written 4 times. So 3 into 4 is equal to 12. Similarly, we go on adding the same number several times till we come to the number 3 into 10 is equal to 30. Similarly, you can construct tables of 4, 5 and 6 and so on to do the multiplication tables. Construction of multiplication tables using sticks and straws. To make a multiplication tables of 4, proceed as follows. Take 4 sticks, broomsticks or straws. Place them horizontally as shown. Place another stick on it vertically and mark the points where the vertical stick touches the other four sticks. This shows four horizontal sticks into one vertical stick. Four into one is equal to four. Similarly, place one more vertical stick and mark the points at which it touches the four horizontal sticks. Add all the points of contact. There are eight such points. Four into two is equal to eight. I place another vertical stick and mark the point at which it touches the four horizontal sticks. Add all the four sticks in contact. There are 12 such points. So 4 into 3 is equal to 12. We go on adding sticks and count the number of points it's in contact with. And we come to 4 into 10 is equal to 40. By adding sticks vertically, one by one, we construct the table of four. Similarly, you can construct the table of five, six and so on. Any number that is before the multiplication sign is called the multiplicand. Any number after the multiplication sign is called the multiplier. The answer is called the product. going to give you some tips and tricks to learn the 5 times multiplication table in a fun and an easy way. First draw a grid of 5 columns and 2 rows. Next in the 1's place we just need to write the pattern of 5 and 0 as shown in the grid. Now in the 10's place we write a 0 followed by numbers from 1 to 4 twice and finally the number 5 
in the last box to complete the grid. Thus the pattern form in five columns and two rows is 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4 and 5. You have the 5 times table now? You can see that this is an easy way to learn the 5 times table. In Maths Tips and Tricks series, I will show you some tricks and give you some tips for how you can easily generate the 6 times table by using the 5 and the 1 times table. We all know that the number 6 can be generated by adding 5 plus 1. This means the 5 times table plus the 1 times table collectively equals to 6 times table. You can see now how each line of the 6 times table is generated by adding each multiple of the 5 times table with the respective multiple of the 1 times table. Thus we obtain an easy method to learn the 6 times table in a fun and an easy way. Now that you have learned multiplication tables till 6, let's learn the multiplication tables of 7 and 8. Do you find it tedious to memorize these? Let me show you some amusing ways to learn the multiplication tables of 7 and 8. So let's get started. Multiplication table of 7 We are all familiar with the games Tic-Tac-Toe and Snakes and Ladders. Let us combine these to form the multiplication table of 7. Here we have 3 snakes and 3 ladders with numbers on them. Notice how the snakes are overlapping each other. The first snake has numbers 0, 1 and 2. The second snake has numbers 2, 3 and 4. The third snake has numbers 4, 5 and 6. And the ladders have numbers from 1 to 9. Now we are going to fill these numbers in tic-tac-toe. The numbers of the first snake 0, 1 and 2 in the first row. The numbers of the second snake 2, 3 and 4 in the second row. The numbers of the third snake 4, 5 and 6 in the third row of tic-tac-toe. Now let's use the numbers from the ladders. Place the numbers 1, 2 and 3 from the first ladder to the right of the numbers 2, 4 and 6. Place the numbers 4, 5 and 6 from the second ladder to the right of the numbers 1, 3 and 5. Place the numbers 7, 8 and 9 from the third ladder to the right of the numbers 0, 2 and 4. And boom! We have our 7 times table. How? Let me shift this to the left. 7 1 times is 7. 7 2 times is 14. 7 3 times is 21. And so on till we get 7 9 times 63. And obviously 7 10 times is 70. And we have the multiplication table of 7. Now let's look at the multiplication table of 8. Here we will write numbers from 0 to 8 in two columns. The first column 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and the second column 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Remember to repeat the number 4 in the second column. Now we will pair these numbers with single digit even numbers which are 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8 like this 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. We will bring them together and this gives us the multiples of 8 times table. How? 8 1 times is 8, 8 2 times is 16, 8 3 times is 24 and so on till we get 8 10 times 80. And we have the multiplication table of 8. I hope you all enjoy it. Now memorize these tables. Happy learning! I'm 
going to show the patterns of tables of 9 and 10. Let us now recall the first 10 multiples of 9. 9 into 1, 9. 9 into 2, 18. 9 into 3, 27. 9 into 4, 36. 9 into 5, 45. 9 into 6, 54. 9 into 7, 63. 9 into 8, 72. 9 into 9, 81. And 9 into 10, 90. Observe the digits of the products in the tables. In the tens place, they increase from 0 to 9 and in the units place, they decrease from 9 to 0 when arranged vertically. It is easy to remember this pattern, isn't it? Tables of 10. Let us check the tables of 10. 10 into 1, 10. 10 into 2, 20. 10 into 3, 30. 10 into 4, 40. 10 into 5, 50. 10 into 6, 60. 10 into 7, 70. 10 into 8, 80. 10 into 9, 90. And 10 into 10, 100. The tables of 10 is the easiest one. If you remember the tables of 1, you need to add 0 after each number to make it a multiple of 10. Note that 10 into 10 is 100, which is a 3 digit number. It was fun, wasn't it? Instead of memorizing, if we can follow the pattern formed by each table, it makes the process of learning easier. As every table follows a pattern, it is important to remember this arrangement. The fundamental operation in multiplication is that of repeated addition. We can also say that it is skip counting. But no matter what we call it, we must be able to recall the sequence when we need to. We have tried to highlight the tricks so that learning tables is fun for you. Good luck! Hey!